snowdrops um, from here and from neighbouring estates. Um, and we, we have various nursery areas around the garden, so what we'll do is once we get our orders in, we, um, we'll, we'll dig up our snowdrops per crate, which is what these are here, and these get hand sorted, um, wrapped in damp moss, and go out in first class post or first class courier for customers um, by mail order throughout the UK. So um, that's a large part of what we're doing at the moment. Um, we're also at the moment, we're in um, one of our patch of Cambo specials. So in terms of snowdrops, we have um, our regular snowdrops, um, snowflakes, aranthus, um, doubles and single snowdrops that go out in the mail order. But we also have a really large, having the national collection of snowdrops, a really large collection of um, various snowdrops throughout the garden. Now some of them we've only got single patches of, and they can be quite, quite precious ones and ones that, that are very collectible, but equally we we have other ones throughout the garden, like this lovely drift here, which is our Cambo Extra Tall, and this is one of my favourite snowdrops in the garden. Now, um, week by week, my favourite snowdrop will change, um, I have to say, um, because it just depends on the time of year, but also, you know, at this time of year, um, things like this Extra Tall, they are um, really super early, they're incredibly scented, and they're lovely and tall, so in terms of kind of the first snowdrops that come up in the garden, they're quite cheerful. These are, these are one of my favourites, but I have to say, as we have a little look around some of the snowdrop collection, I'll show you some of my other favourites as well. So if you're thinking about starting a little snowdrop collection, you can start with, with as many as one, or, or a little group of some of these as well. These um, extra tools are available on our Click and Collect as well, for kind of local collection. But in terms of kind of just their, their form and the presence in the garden at this time of year, they're a lovely early snowdrop to make any garden brighten up. standing area which is quite full to bursting this year and um, what we've got here in front of this here is a snowdrop that's got a really lovely story behind it as well this is um, one that's just particularly special to Cambo this is called um, Galanthus Bryn so Bryn is a snowdrop that reputedly Lady Erskine found on a compost heap in the garden of another gardener when she was um, visiting and liked the look of the snowdrop so much she asked if she could have the snowdrop from the compost heap as it had been relegated there and has grown it on and now we have a collection of this in various parts of the woodland. It's a really good single snowdrop. It's quite tall, it, um, it's, it stands really well and it's just one that if you're thinking about having something that's a little bit different in your collection, it's one that we really, really recommend. It was saved from the compost heap, doing beautifully with us now, so um, it's a really nice addition to any garden. We're in, what we're in just now is our plant standing area, like I said, and what we've got this year is obviously with the COVID restrictions, we can't have our um, usual kind of plant sales and garden centre open. So we've, we've established our area down here, which is um, behind the bench. And I'll take you for a little look and see what we've got going on in here. So this year, as we do always, we've got everything potted, but quite often it's all out for sale in our main sales area. So what we've done this year is we've, we've still potted everything in the hope that we can open to the public eventually. But for now, what we're doing is we're offering a click and collect service. So we've got a sales list that's on the internet and we're able to offer people within our county, which is Fife, the ability to be able to have a browse through our, um, our plant sales catalogue that we've put together and be able to take some favourites home from Cambo at the moment. One of our best sellers always is our what we call our Heralds of Spring and that's a really lovely collection to take home from for any garden. So that's a combination of all our early favourites. So that's Aranthus, some double snowdrops, we've got Aranthus here, double snowdrops, single snowdrops and also um, some snowflakes as well and that gives a nice little start to a collection in a garden as well. So that's our Heralds of Spring, just lets us know spring's on the way and it's really cheerful. Any of the plants that you see in here at the moment are on that list and we are offering a click and collect service every week. So hopefully we can 
get lots of cheerful plants into folks' gardens, even if we can't have you into the garden. So here we are, we're in um, the collection as well. And one of the things that we do um, when we're out and about as well is what we call roguing, which is, you know, in certain areas of the garden, we have snowdrops that put themselves in places where possibly they shouldn't be. These doubles are an example of that as well. So we're in the specialist snowdrop collection at the moment, but these are what people would say ordinary doubles. Now I've got a big soft spot for double snowdrops um, because um, every single one of them is completely different when you kind of lift up and have a look at the bottom of them. You know, they've got that lovely rosette thing going on. Sometimes they've got three outer segments sometimes they've got four those ones look like they've got teeth as well so in terms of your more special ordinary snowdrops i think double snowdrops are um, a perfect choice for the garden they're, they're a lot fatter in form as well and um, so you get that lovely kind of white covering as well and because each one's individual it's quite fun having a look at what the the segments look and the, the flowers look underneath as well Whilst we're in the special collection here, um, it's quite nice to have a look at some of our more named specials as well. Now we've got over 352 different varieties of snowdrops here and a lot of them are named and, and have their own individual stories as well. So another good example here of a double is one of the Greater Rix doubles and this one's called Desdemona. Now Desdemona's a double and the nice thing about Desdemona is again she's got the most beautiful petaled inside that um, it's just it's really it's just really frilly and full uh, and like I said a lot of snowdrops have got a really interesting story behind them as well so Desdemona is part of the Greatrix snowdrops um, this was a chap called Henry Greatrix who came back from one of the wars and decided that he wanted to start breeding snowdrops so he bought an old railway carriage and bred them in the bottom of his garden and a lot of what we call the Shakespeare snowdrops and um, the Greater X doubles um, came out from that so we've got Desdemona, we've got Jacanetta, we've got Ophelia, we've got um, lots of different ones and they're all quite exciting to have a look at as well. Here we are, we're still in the specialist collection having a look at some other things here. So what we've got here as well is a naturalised kind of um, swathe of snowdrops here. Now this is Arna, so S. Arna is an incredibly early snowdrop, but it's also, as you can see, it's got that beautiful form of the flowers. It's just, it's a really nice plump snowdrop, but it's also heavily scented as well. So it's a really lovely one to add to a collection too. And again, bulks up really quickly and um, just gives you that lovely carpet of snowdrops in springtime as well. And while we're here, I've got to pop up to talk about something that isn't a snowdrop, but often confused with snowdrops. So what we've got here is we've got snowflakes so snowflakes are, are another thing, another bulb that we do via our kind of mail order and we pot up an awful lot of as well. Again, we've got the twin headed thing going on there too. So a kind of a, a cousin of snowdrops, um, beautifully glossy apple green leaves, a bit taller and these beautiful Tiffany kind of lamp style flowers as well. The nice thing about them is that they really contrast well with the snowdrops, but the little marks that have outside, often they, these can be green but equally they can be yellow um, on the edges as well and it just it's a really lovely contrast to the snowdrops again up quite early they perform really well with us and they bulk up really quickly so they're always another nice thing to add to your winter garden collection so here we are again um, with another one of my favorites of course you can never have too many and um, this one here is called magnet now this is a lovely snowdrop. I don't know if you can see or not, we've got a slight breeze, um, which is quite common on the East Coast and just about anywhere else in Scotland. But um, what we've got is that the, the, the flowers on Magnet have a, a, a very long stalk. So this part of the stalk, this part is called the pedestal. So the stalk behind the pedestal is very, very long and actually gets a bit longer as the season goes on again. So these will get a little bit taller, but the lovely thing about these is because they have the, lo the long flower stalk behind the flower is that they kind of almost dance about in the wind and stuff. Um, Magnet was actually named after um, the very, if you're of my age, you will have done this, uh, the, the magnetic kind of fishing game that you had where you hung down a little magnet on a pole and um, you hooked your fish. And so the kind of the, like the longer part of the kind of the flower pedestal is um, said to be uh, named after that game. The lovely other thing about Magnet as well, I don't know if you can see it on some of these, is often Magnet will have um, two flowers on the one stem. So that's quite a nice trait to kind of see if you can pick out as well. It just means that quite often you'll get two snowdrops for your, for, um, for your one flower as well, which is really beautiful.
So here we are in one of our other winter gardens here at Cambo and again this one hosts one of our main special collections. Um, we're standing here in front of Big Boy who's um, quite a small snowdrop um, in, in comparison to some of the other snowdrops that we've seen at the moment but what he is is he's got the most amazing massive flowers when you see relative to the relative to the size of him and he's got the most gorgeous completely green inner in the middle there as well he's really pretty. Um, an El Elwisii type, which is um, those that have bigger, fatter leaves than your normal snowdrops um, and slightly kind of greeny grey colour as well. Another one that's um, in the collection here that's, that's one that I, I really quite like is this one here called Rosemary Burnham. Now she's what we call one of our green snowdrops. So obviously snowdrops are green and white, but um, within some of the white ones, um, some of our inner and outer segments of the flower are marked with green and the really lovely thing about a rosemary burnham is that she's got these almost like paintbrush like markings on the outside of the snowdrop she's um she's quite a special bulb as well and she's she's um she's she's quite a good bulb if you're looking to have something a bit different that wants to bulk up because she tends to be quite a big bulb and I'm very aware at this moment in time that I talk about snowdrops as he's and she's and I've done it the whole time that I've ever um, worked at the collection. Often the, story, the stories around the snowdrops are either named after people's gardens or people as well. So as we've got Rosemary Burnham here, I would, I would use the feminine for her. Um, she, is, she, she, she isn't particularly a female, but um, that's just um, that's how I talk about them. Um, also, she's very good at bulking up. So you'll find that although it looks like we've got a large amount of bulbs in this little area here chances are that actually if we were to kind of dig her up and have a look at her this would probably be one big bulb with some daughter bulbs around it so she's she good at bulking up and having several flowers on one bulb before she splits off and gives us a daughter bulb as well and while we finish off we might as well just walk down the collection here just past Daphne scissors again and I thought she and here we've got grumpy one of the most famous snowdrops there is around especially around collectors as well now Grumpy is another um, LBCI type snowbird. We've got these lovely, um, lovely kind of grey green kind of fatter leaves as well. But what Grumpy's got um, that's quite fun is that his inner markings look like you've got a grumpy face. So he's quite a special snowdrop and often one that the children love and is very collectible as well. So I hope that that means that you've had a little look around the snowdrop collection and you've seen a few things that you might not see otherwise so next time you see some snowdrops have a look and see what's different about them